This is Twit. Jeff Fullerton, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, come on over the phone, Jeff. Yeah, we're talking to you. You're on the radio. Hey, Jeff. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Leo. It's Jeff in uh, Fullerton. Nice. Long time listener. Thank you, sir. 68 year old retired geek. Nice. And, uh, been on a computer, uh, just changed to a. Uh, Apple about 15 years ago. Been on a computer as long as they've been around. Same with uh, cell phones and landline cordless phones. Uh, my concern today, I'm just curious. Uh, I read a lot of medical stuff and about cell phones, even landline phones, talking with your ear against your, your brain and brain cancer. They seem to be mostly concerned about youngsters being on it since they're eight years old. Right. So I'm interested in your, in your opinion about this. So this is a really hot topic, and and absolutely, if any evidence surfaces that this is dangerous, then we need to do something about it. No evidence has surfaced that this is dangerous at all, ever. Really, and as a geek, you will understand that uh, the dan the danger from electromagnetic radiation, and there's all kinds. You know, it, it, it's all of a, on a spectrum. Light is electromagnetic radiation in some respects. Elect, you know, the there's magnetic radiation. It's all on the spectrum. It's all the same. Uh, but but radio frequencies or electromagnetic frequencies, the damage it does to the human uh, biome, to the cells, is proportionate to the amount of power it has, right? So you don't want to stand in front of a microwave transmitter. There's a lot of power coming out of there at a high frequency. It will damage your cells. But the cell phone is a very low power device, much, much lower power. You can't heat up a can of corn with a cell phone. And so in the, the theory is all sensible. Electromagnetic radiation of sufficient power is damaging to the human cell. That's a true statement. But the issue is how much radiation for how long. And no study, to my knowledge, and I've looked and looked, there are lots of people say, oh, no, Leo, but if you, no study has ever shown uh, that. Now, uh, of course, one of the concerns is, well, we haven't had these things that long. There are no adults today who started at eight years old with a cell phone plastered in their head, and I agree. Uh, I have to point out that increasingly people do not hold the cell phone to their head, not because they're using other devices, but because kids don't make phone calls. They're typing on them. And you get one inch away, you're reducing the power considerably. You get three inches, five inches, pretty soon it's it's just it's negligible. But, but we're learning stuff. You know, I, when uh, I worked in radio in San Francisco, of course, uh, most of the FM stations in San, San Francisco are on a, and, and many of the TV stations, a giant tower on Twin Peaks called Sutro Tower. You can see it from all over the city. It's an amazing thing. And, of course, it's got an incredible view of the city. So the chief engineer of the radio station I was working with one day said, hey, let's go up on Sutro Tower. It's amazing up there. So we just, you know, he opened the door, unlocked it. We climbed up the ladder, went up the th little tiny elevator, climbed up higher. Uh, what I didn't know at the time was, of course, there's <laughs> many, 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 many watts of radio frequency beaming off of that tower. And when I got back down, I noticed white spots uh, on my hands. And I said, Tim, what's that? He said, oh, don't worry about that. Those are, those are RF burns. Um, oh, because you're so close to the end. You know, there, there's a lot of power, a lot of wattage. Oh, now since then, to go, if you go up on Sutra Tower, they now will make, wear, make you wear a mesh, a metal mesh bunny suit. You can't just go up there. You have to don a Faraday cage, a metal suit, to protect you. But in those days, nobody did that. And uh, so far, I haven't uh, contracted any cancer from that. That was almost 30 years ago. But uh, we learn, in other words. <laughs> and if people were getting little white spots of burns from their cell phones on their head and their temple, then maybe there'd be some cause for concern. But it's very, 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 very low power. And so I think that... Uh, it's there's no evidence of this yet. Would it be prudent? Yeah, I guess it's probably prudent. Um, maybe not to give eight year old cell phones, but uh, I, you know, it takes a lot of energy. By the way, microwaves, as somebody's correctly pointing out in the chat room, don't give you cancer. They just damage your cells. They cook you. Uh, so there's it, there isn't even evidence that this would cause some sort of long term, you know, disease. I think you're okay, in other words. Um, and certainly at our age, at our age, Jeff, 
It, we got nothing. Over. We got far more, far more things to worry about than. We're gonna that. pass along some other things. Yeah, so, you and I are both gonna get prostate cancer almost certainly. That's what they right? say. Right, almost yeah. certainly. And it's yeah. not because we walk around with a cell phone up our keister. Oh, it's 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 because it's just age. It happens. Got it. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, that. So I, as as far as I know, and and uh, I, I'm I'd be glad to see any studies. I, every time I say this, people send me yeah. stuff. It's yeah. it, almost everything that's come out to date is not is. There's no nothing conclusion. To worry about. Nothing to worry. Okay. About. Okay, buddy. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Keep an eye on that prostate, though. Right.